Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous. In today's video, we're going to unbox and set up a digital microscope. So let's get to it. All right, so here's the digital microscope that Joy Allen sent us. So let's get to unboxing. Looks like we got some clear instructions. That's nice. HDMI cable, USB power. Okay, so it actually comes with quite a bit of things. So here's our base that we're gonna attach everything to. Right here is our video unit, as well as the microscope itself that's connected to it. Really cool about this microscope is you can record on an SD card, and it does come with a 32 gigabyte mini SD card, and you can also export it out to a computer via USB or HDMI, which is gonna be pretty nice to you know be able to overlay into our videos when we inspect things. So that's neat. And then we've got some bracketry here. So our post and then thing that we're gonna obviously mount our lens to. A little remote control, which I'm kind of interested to see what that's about. I guess you can start taking video there and zoom in and out, which is pretty neat. And then some light controls. Here's the mini SD card it comes with, some spare thumb screws, power cable and power brick, HDMI cable, and then it actually comes with some sample slides. That's, you know, again, pretty neat. So top one here is a pine stem. So we can kind of look through the microscope and see what a pine stem looks like up close. So we'll look at that. A little light box here for slides. You can put your slides on there. Um, I don't know what this is. Comes with a little, they, they call it a bug box, I guess. You know, if you put a, a bug in there and you want to look at it without it crawling away, that's that. I don't think we'll be using that. Yeah. Some spare lenses, it does come with three lenses for three different magnifications. So there's a lens that is 18 to 720 times power, a lens that is 1800 to 2040 power, and a lens that is 60 by 240 power. So we'll test those out and kind of look at some of our laser projects with those. So let's put this thing together. All right, we're gonna start with the base and install the post. These are just little hold downs for whatever you're working on. If it's a circuit board or something, you can stick in there. You can obviously move them out of the way too. When we're using lens D, slot the DC power supply into the light box. So that's the light box, and that's where we would put the DC. All right, so now we have the physical assembly complete. Now we can go ahead and plug this thing in and see what it looks like. So this little DC plug is what we had plugged into this light box if we were gonna be using lens D to look at like slides, but we're not gonna look at slides right now. So this will actually plug into here so that these spotlights work. And then this cable plugs in here like that. This one is our power source. All 
and then we got some light controls here to brighten and dim. Okay, so we can take a picture by pressing this button here. Looks like some selections that we can do in the menu and the power button. So let's put in the SD cards. Here's our mini SD, 32 gigabytes. Let's get in the back. Cool, saves a picture. Now we can also export this feed out to a computer or a TV using this HDMI cable. Yeah, so here's a height adjustment if you had a project that was, you know, really tall or something. You can adjust the height here, and then you can adjust, obviously, here. Move this in and out to get where you need. This is pretty neat. We can definitely use this for looking at some of our stitching projects. So let's talk some statistics of uh, this particular digital microscope. So you get a seven inch color screen. This is ultra HD, so it's 2160p resolution. You get three lenses. Again, one is 18 to 720 times, one is 1800 to 2040, and one is 60 to 240. Again, you can export the video out to a computer. Okay, so now we're gonna get this connected to our computer so we can do some cool like screen recordings of us messing around with this stuff. Now, important to note, this HDMI cable is not gonna work for us because for Macs at least, the HDMI cable port on our dongle is for export only. So we won't be able to bring in video. So we'll have to bring in it via USB and see if we can do that with a Mac because this says it is compatible with Windows machines, but we're gonna see if we can get this to work with our Mac. Now it does come with a cable here and it's the same micro USB cable on one side that connects into our power source. But if we connect it to our computer via USB, it should be powered by the USB and it is a data cable that will bring over that video. So let's try that. Plug this into our dongle. Okay, so when we plugged in our new cable on the microscope itself, it has some USB connections and we wanna go ahead and turn that to PC camera. So we're gonna use our arrow buttons and OK. And now you can see we are being powered by the computer now for this LCD monitor and the microscope. And over here on our computer, we're gonna use a program called Photo Booth that comes pre-installed on every Mac. So we are here in Photo Booth, which is an application. It's right now using the camera that's in the computer. And I'm just gonna switch that to our USB camera if it picks it up. And you can see right here, it did pick it up. So click on that. And then here we go, there it is. And we can move around. Now you will notice this is reversed at the moment. And that's something that we really can't get rid of until we actually record. But here in the settings, we have auto flip new items. So basically when we record, if we switch this to a recording, uh, when it saves that recording, it's gonna automatically flip it back. And again, it's because with you know this photo booth program, it's using usually just the camera on the MacBook itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and record this real quick. And we'll just move this around just to show we're actually in video mode and see if this works. And I hit stop and there's our new recording. Let's watch that. Okay, so it worked. This is neat. So this does actually work with Mac. You just have to use the program Photo Booth. At least one program that you could use it with is Photo Booth and it does seem to pick it up. Now let's look at some of those cool slides that it came with. For the slide box, this is gonna be our light source. Let's see what we got, what comes with this thing. So we got pine stem, epidermis of onion. Interesting. Ooh, a honeybee wing, a honeybee worker leg, and compound eye. I'm not sure what that is. Hmm. Well, let's see. And we need to change to our even closer up lens, our D lens. Oh, 
but wow, that is really in there. That certainly is magnified. I don't know what that is, but. And here's a honeybee wing. That's pretty cool. All right. So honestly, this is pretty cool that we can look at this stuff and have all these samples too. But what we really want to use this microscope for is to closely look at our lasering projects to see if we're getting the best results that we can. Let's put our other lens back on and look at some engravings that we've done and kind of look at what they look like up close because that'll be pretty neat. All right, so the first thing I want to look at is this color test we did on stainless steel because I thought that'd be kind of neat to look at up close. So let's see what it kind of looks like. So obviously this is pretty cool and we can look at the colors that it put on there, but we can't really see a whole lot of details from, I guess right there on the letters, you can see some details. This was made with our fiber laser, so that makes extremely close uh, cuts there. Just for reference, that's my fingertip. And this is a leather patch that we engraved with our little symbol here. That is pretty cool, huh? Okay, so this is where it's at right here. Let's see. So you can see here on this one, you can see the individual rows made by the laser as it cut into the project. That's really neat. So it was really cool being able to see all those little slides up close, but like we said in the video, but what we really want to use this microscope for is what we're going to be using this for is kind of investigating our own little projects. Yeah, it certainly is going to be helpful looking through a digital microscope to see the spacings of our laser engravings or looking at our embroidery through that and the ability to capture that as video is really neat. The other useful part about this digital microscope, of course, is its intended purpose of being able to look at small circuitry and do some soldering if we need to on small circuit boards. But anyway, for us, it'll be super helpful in looking at our embroidery projects as well as our laser engraving projects. And a huge thank you to Joy Allens for sending us this digital microscope. Yeah, it's certainly a cool new gadget to add to our toolbox. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications to get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.